Here we have some types of landslides and mass movements. A rotational slide, a translational slide, a block slide, rock fall, topple, lateral slide, debris avalanche or debris flow, earth flow, mudslide and creep. A mud flow is an earth flow consisting of material that is wet enough to flow rapidly and that contains at least 50% sand, silt and clay sized particles. In some instances, for example in many newspaper reports, mud flows and debris flows are commonly referred to as mud slides. The speed of a mud flow is very rapid to extremely rapid, more than 5 meters per second. The type of slope is like an angle of 20 to 45 degrees and the causes are high intensity rainfall with a lot of precipitation. Lateral spreads are distinctive because they usually occur on very gentle slopes or flat terrain. The dominant mode of movement is lateral extension, accompanied by shear or tensile fractures. The failure is caused by liquefaction, the process whereby saturated, loose, cohesionless sediments are transformed from a solid into a liquefied state. Most usually these are sands and silts. Failure is usually triggered by rapid ground motion such as that experienced during an earthquake but can also be artificially induced. When coherent material, either bedrock or soil, rests on materials that liquefy, the upper units may undergo fracturing and extension and may then subside, translate, rotate, disintegrate or liquefy and flow. Lateral spreading in fine-grained materials on shallow slopes is usually progressive. The failure starts suddenly in a small area and spreads rapidly. Often the initial failure is a slump, but in some materials movement occurs for no apparent reason. A rotational slide is a slide in which the surface of rupture is curved concavely upward and the slide movement is roughly rotational about an axis that is parallel to the ground surface and transverse across the slide. Uh, the speed for rotational slides is extremely slow to extremely rapid. The type of slope is a slope angle from around about 20 to 40 degrees. Uh, the causes can be many, for example vibration, undercutting, differential weathering, excavation or stream erosion. Translational slide is a type of slide uh, where the mass moves along a roughly planar surface with little rotation or backward tilting. The causes of a translational slide can be uh, of many factors. It can be vibration, undercounting, excavation or stream erosion. The speed is uh, more often extremely slow to extremely rapid and that means more than 5 meter per second and the type of slope which most commonly we see is like 20 to 45 degrees A block slide is a translational slide in which the moving mass 
consists of a single unit or a few closely related units that move downslope as a relatively coherent mass. Topples, toppling failures are distinguished by the forward rotation of a unit or units about some pivotal point below or low in the unit under the actions of gravity and forces exerted by adjacent units or by fluids in cracks. Uh, the speed of these topples are extremely slow to extremely rapid. And the type of slope is like slope angles which are very steep, 45 to 90 degrees. The causes can be uh, many, of course, differential weathering, uh, freezing and uh, water, vibration, undercutting, excavation or stream erosion. Rock falls are abrupt movements of masses of geologic materials, such as rocks and boulders, that become detached from steep slopes or cliffs. Separation occurs along discontinuities such as fractures, joints and bedding planes, and movement occurs by freefall, bouncing and rolling. Falls are strongly influenced by gravity, mechanical weathering and the presence of interstitial water. The speed of rockfalls are from very to extremely rapid, they're very dangerous. The slope angle is like 45 to 90 degrees and the causes are many, like vibration, undercutting, differential weathering, excavation or stream erosion. A debris flow is a form of rapid mass movement in which a combination of loose soil, rock, organic matter, air and water mobilize as a slurry that flows downslope. Debris flows include uh, more than 50% fines. Debris flows are commonly caused by intense surface water flow due to heavy precipitation or rapid snow melt that erodes and mobilizes loose soil or rock on steep slopes. Debris flows also commonly mobilized from other types of landslide that occur on steep slopes, uh, are nearly saturated and consist of a large portion of silt and sand sized material. Debris flow source errors are often associated with steep gullies and debris flow deposits are usually indicated by the presence of debris fans at the mouths of gullies. Fires that denude slopes of vegetation intensify the susceptibility of slopes to debris flows. When we look at the speed of a debris flow, it's very rapid to extremely rapid. It's more than 5 meters per second. Uh, the type of slope is an angle of 20 to 45 degrees and the causes are mainly because of high intensity rainfall precipitation even snowfall. Earth flows occur in moderate to steep slopes when the topsoil or oven burden seasonally becomes saturated by heavy rains. The material slumps away from the upper part of the slope leaving a scarp and flows down to form a bulge at the toe. Creep is the imperceptibility, slow, steady, downward movement of sloping, forming soil or rock. Movement is caused by shear stress, sufficient to produce permanent deformation, but too small to produce shear failure. There are generally three types of creep. Seasonal, where movement is within the depth of soil affected by seasonal changes, in soil moisture and soil temperature. Continuous, where shear stress continuously exceeds the strength of the material. Progressive, 
where slopes are reaching the point of failure as other types of mass movements. Creep is initiated by curved tree trunks, bent fences or retaining walls, tilted poles or fences and small soil ripples or ridges.